Five and a half, five and seven and a half, and now ten. Seven and a half, and now ten. You want seven and a half? Leave me ten dollars where? I got seven and a half, got a ten, seven and a half, ten, seven and a half, ten, two and a half, ten, ten, twelve and a half, seven, eight, nine, twelve and a half. Happy Fourth of July, and man, what a difference a day makes! Just yesterday, we were doing our Thursday walkabout auction as we were prepping for the antique and collectible auction. Now you understand everybody works very, very hard to get to the point where we can show you all of this wonderful stuff. Excuse me. Um, and we have a, a really, really nice auction laid out for this sale. And I'm going to go ahead and walk through and give you some idea. Robert's over there working with Robin, trying to get the catalog done. The guys are over here eating FIFA for the 4th of July, working hard. We had a great sale last night, and we're looking forward to a great sale on Sunday. Um, just to show you these, these are the 1970s Rally Bicycles, a pair of them. We have the original purchase ticket that goes with those. Some great jewelry that we're going to be selling. Um, uh, nice charm bracelet. This one, this piece itself right here, you look at, is a uh, turn of the century, probably 1890s, 1910. Um, it's called a garter bracelet. It's got the double foxtail fringe. It is a mesh bracelet. It has black enamel and pearls in there. Um, there's a men's 14 karat white gold ring, right? It's very nice, and it has it's just over half a carat. There's over a carat in this lady's double ring, double diamond ring. Custom designer pieces came from a wonderful estate where we have a lot of um, some vintage clothing that we're going to be selling, uh, custom made designer pieces from France. There's this leaf piece with the diamond and the ruby. And then this wonderful pineapple piece. Look at those the diamonds. I'm trying to back it up. Focus in. There we go. It's double pineapple heads. It has diamonds and yellow and white gold. Beautiful brooch. Good size of there. Again, there's a 1920s deco piece. Let's focus in on that one. Come on, guys. Beautiful deco piece. Going through there. Sorry, I want to back up a little bit. These are some 1960s dome rings. There's some gold rings here, some gold watches, some custom jewelry, some custom Native American stuff. There's some really nice pieces they're going to be selling. Lots of coins. There's 36 pounds of wee pennies. There's um, Morgans. There's Walking Liberties. There's Early Dimes. There's all sorts of great stuff. And those are on live and online, so you want to go ahead and look at the catalog now. You can bid on them online. I'm going to go real quick through these showcases and show you what we've got going on. Some nice vintage um, postcards. Look at this Christmas tree. I don't know that anybody put a Christmas tree up with candles now, but those are some early pieces there. Check out these traveling clocks. Wonderful early clocks. Some Royal Dalton, some hand-painted porcelain. Bezeling glass, sterling. These, you know, these, you know, these are all sterling. Buy it for scrap, or if you can find the inserts, these are wonderful pieces. There's four of those. There's a piece of back wrap, some Italian pieces there. Great deco style, uh, cream and sugar, little trinket pieces here. Zooming into the next showcase, there's a sterling golf card case. There's your. Uh, I can't even pronounce it. The wine tester. It's sterling. There's the Boston whistle for the ship. There's ivory card case. There's some really cool pieces. There's some sterling flask. There's a Civil War multifunction knife. Some lighters. There's a stife owl. Um, inlay. There's early Japanese boards. There's some cool pieces through here. Now you're coming on over here and you're going to see the Torah pointer, the chieftain's knife, the scribe. Look at that. That's a bronze piece right there. It's a traveling scribe. It's probably mid-1800s. Might be a little bit early. Early case knife. There's some jade coming in here. There's soft jade, hard jade. There's an ivory top seal case. There's some lacquer snuff boxes. This is a wonderful thing. It's four sterling shot glasses set up in the traveling case, card case, lignette. Um, this is a Tiffany crystal double entry snuff bottle. Really wonderful. That one's live and online. I'm going to zoom over here. Okay, back it up. 1950s section. You know how we always try to set things up in the kind of like little venues. Um, this is going to be our mid-century modern, um, great oriental blonde bedroom set. Look at those pulls, just really nice. Couple of porcelain uh, lamps. Got that 50s. Oh, look at that real. Look at this guy. I gotta go close because he's just the coolest piece of. Folk art. People taking pieces and turning them into love. Who knows what that could be. Okay, I'm going to go into one of the showcases. 
This, oh, I want to back up. Look at Isn't that cute? It actually has two leaves. When do you see cast iron with leaves? So, nice old 50 turquoise colors and turquoise um, china to go with it. Those are some vintage holes. I'll show you those in just a second. I'm going to zoom over here because I really want to show you. they got this blue Rookwood Bay. Nice Roseville, early Roseville pot and John and Nair. And then coming back through here. Look at this cool collar box. Isn't that wonderful? And then you have the wonderful silver marks right up and through here. And pop that puppy open and look, there's the coupling. How cool is that? Now this is beautiful French sterling, all etched. And then we have this early tea caddy. Look at the burling wood in this thing. I'm telling you what. I'm telling you what. Looks like it's all hand cut. Beautiful piece there. I'm going to zoom over this way. This is a hawk's glass with a sterling topper on the top. But I don't know if you can see it. But this is a wonderfully etched golf scene. Go out there and put that on the golf course and enjoy that. Roseville. Got a Burmese tulip top. Art glass piece. Got some clocks. All kinds of them. Oh, big ones are the ones. Look at the size of those umbrella girl and boy. Those are nice. Royal Dalton. Great Yadros. And she is beautiful. So delicate. And, and you know, the lace that sometimes is in fairly good shape. So that's pretty good. This is kind of neat. 50s piece. I love these two. They both have a little bit of damage. But, geez, the, art, well, the work on that and the clarity of the glass was just so amazing. I could not just not share it with everybody. Soapstone. Some more of that. Some more golfing. Oh, look at that. George Dickel. That's a collector piece I ever saw. Fenton. Lots of Fenton coming in. I'm going to back up a little because it doesn't look like it's focusing. There you go. There's that beautiful Venetian cobalt. Got some Vaseline glass right there. Another Victorian drink set. I mean, just really some neat sets. So I'm going to zoom around. Check out this patio set. Again, two patio sets. Got the round 1950s. This is a blue set. Nice little top. Um, and then four. Um, Four bar stools that have little footrests. And then there's some vintage clothing. I'm going to show you some of those. I'm going to sell those in groups, in piles. Oh, so sexy. Look at the color here. Isn't that just amazing? And then oh, there's on two, three, four pieces. There's another 60s piece. But this is my favorite. This is all oriental silk. Has the gold brocade put in it. And this is all hand airbrushed on there. Just an amazing piece of clothing. Same came from the same lady who had all this custom, these custom some clothes come in. A couple of mink coats. Again, kind of toasty warm right now for those things. And then there's one, two, three, four, five suits. Um, one of them is an Aldolfo. And the others are all um, the French designer Richard from, from Paris. So those are going to be checked those out. And a couple other wool coats. And look how cool this 50s pink one is. I'm telling you, nice tough collar. Emily Weatherby is that one. That one says Emily Weatherby. So we'll be selling them in groups and piles. Oh, and look, an original leather letter sweater with the wool poodle skirt. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? All right. You can hear Robert. He's out here cataloging. We're trying to get it done so that we can have it up online so that you can come in and take a look at it. Print it out ahead of time so you don't have to pay for one when you come in. Um, nice art throughout the place. I mean, there's some really cool things coming in. Now, this is the Haywood Wakefield set. Beautiful. It's got that whole colonial look like. Very classic. You can keep it, mix it in with whatever you got. You can add to things with them. Um, a couple of nice oil on canvas pieces. This is one single piece of art glass. Beautiful little piece. It's just fun. I'm going to back up some more. Got some Hartman luggage all lined up on a stand. We're going to come through. Excuse me, Robert. Got a Shirley Temple and a Revlon doll. And some more up this way. Lots of seafaring pieces. Lots of seafaring. Oil on canvas, sign prints, early lithos, a little bit of everything. Got your French Provencial. Well, more of a, what would you call this instead of French Provencial? This is more of a carved on the base. It's kind of the 60s thing. Some East Lake chairs, marble top piece. Some more. I'm going to go, I'm going to swing up here so I can show you all of these seafaring pieces. Now, if you were going to go for a theme, this is the week for the seafaring theme. There's some great pieces here. And then in here is your Victorian um, swing mirror, your harp swing mirror. I got you all your carved pulls on here, your marble top, the double bonnet, um, 
drawers on the top. And then there's one, two, three of these. It's hard to look at these, but they're, they're um, industrial photos of some of the battleships, I'm assuming. Battleships, aircraft carriers, all kinds of Navy ships. So those are kind of cool. Backing up. Great little desk here. Look at the burling on this. Come back through. Lift that puppy up. Oh, got a little flip top table thing going on. The drawer is here. Nice burling. Nice chair. Look at this. Now there's some, there are a few pieces in here that are just wonderful period pieces. Check out his face. I think it needs to be a bedside chair. Um, Irish single piece of mahogany. Look at the pure burling in this. All carved. Great legs. Had somebody look at it the other day, told me probably late, mid-1700s. Got the bird cage in the back. Bird cage fixing. Just, just, just a really cool piece to come our way. All right. Back up. Look at the barley twist on this cabinet. Bow front. Another his and her semen. She can smoke his pipe. He can smoke hers. Um, nice cross. Patterson, New Jersey. Wonderful dishes. Lots of dishes. Lots of stemware in this thing. Um, nice little lamp. Got those Clavel type shades. I'm going to do a lift top real quick on this piece. See, it's really nice inside. It has the slide out. When you lift it up, it automatically slides right on out. Nice little desk. You set that stuff anywhere you want to go. Okay, coming around. Nice little quilt rack, real turn, nice twist around here. Now I'm going to swing through and show you some of the oak pieces that we've got. Some of them are contemporary but fit in well with what we're doing. Excuse me as I go up as I'm moving things around. Lots of teacups and saucers, man. I need to have some tea parties. This is a place to come for it. Lots of Wedgwood. Um, got this double one with the barley twist. There's a smaller single one. It'll fit in just about anywhere. Nice light glass. Lots of bevels on there. Um, this is an earlier piece. Look at the pools on those all in good shape. Nice Nice fronts with the uh, the door with the uh, keyholes, swing mirror, barley twist there. Another cute little desk, another cute little oak desk. This is really set up well. Got some nice features on that. Early dovetails. Looks like it's all hand cut on the feet for the legs. Great little piece. Backing up. Another contemporary piece, but fits in really well with whatever kind of style you have in your house. Um, luncheon set. All of the glassware in through here. You got all your pure point collector plates. Those are really sweet. And this is called Wheaton Bottleware. Just a whole collection of those if you want to put those in. I'm going to back up and show you our showcases because our showcases along the back wall always have some fun stuff and we sell them in large groups because the Americana candlesticks with the mayonnaise, some crystals, some Lennox, some Ruby, some Vaseline. Teacups, teacups, teacups. I told you it's going to be a tea party kind of day. Lots of teacups there. A lot of cut to clear. Um, Ruby, amethyst, emerald. There's some opalescent, blue opalescent, and look at this piece of art glass. It's kind of like an octopus to me, but who knows. Nice, another nice set of dishes right through here. Beautiful. That's one of them that's set up online. Great little burl, roll, roll top desk, all tiger oak. Look at that nice barrel roll. It's got one, two, three, four drawers. Nice, another nice hardware again. Keyholes, really good. Look at this. This is a wonderful early vintage. Um, Wicker, fitted top, oak top, just a great little library table. You can put that just about anywhere you want to go, side table. Now, I don't know if you want to use this for the tour. I mean, because we have the tour pointer. This is, it could be a prayer or, a, you know, a, sh a study thing. You can just put your documents on either side and sit there with that. I'm going to keep on walking through. Nice, nice little cherry drop leaf. Great for a sofa table. Nice, got some great length to it right here. Here's another one, solid cherry. Um, just a pair of those. Look at those feet. They did, and they match that table that's back there. A nice pair. Came bottom and came back. Chairs, all carved. I have three of these floral um, porcelain lamps. Great for for a boudoir kind of setup. Then we got some instruments. A couple of guitars, a banjo, a violin, there's a banjo, picking on the banjo, here comes your violin, and here's another banjo, two banjos on my knee, two banjos, two guitars, a violin, there we go, so those will all be sold this weekend too, oh, spin around, setting up the chairs, everybody worked so hard, here we go. 
I have a pair of these wonderful little tables. Look how sweet the bases are on these. Here's a 19, like 1950s, 1960s reproduction of a vintage piece, but still early repo. Uh, wonderful sulky racer, weather main. Um, nice mahogany table. Five chairs, not six, but does have pads, and I think it has a leaf. Yeah, it has a leaf there. Got a pair of these pair point lamps. Nice Carolina chair, Carolina Company chair. There's these wonderfully carved. A pair of these wonderfully carved end tables. Look at the nice feet on those. Ball and claw. Stained glass. Just some really cool stuff too because this, like the 50s stuff has just become so hot. Those are your individual um, matchbooks and matchbook safes. You're into a whole grouping of ashtrays. Those are pretty cool. There's a pair of these. Look at the burling on the front of these. Very, very nice. Nice little metal accents. There's a pair of crystal lanyettes. Nice straw leaf table. Round, look at the look at those fun spindle legs. Wonderful. Here we go. Nice, another set of dinnerware. This is going to be your Royal Staffordshire Ironstone. It's the coach set. Spinning around. Oh, that was my country section over there. Now we go back into the mahogany. Come on, light. Good job. There we go. Get Czechoslovakian lustreware. More teacups, more saucers. These are cool. These are wonderful little doorknobs and wall plaques and that sort of stuff. Another great set of luncheon plates. Just really nice. If you're into, you know, and I hear lots of people are doing things with their china now. Um, as far as weddings concerned, they're mismatching all the china. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to zoom around and we'll show you just some of the things that are in this section because I know I, you know, they call it squirrel. Zoom in, zoom out, show this, show that. There's a nice Venetian decanter set. Stack of nesting tables. Look at all that inlaid wood, wood in there. Just beautiful. Great, great yard arts. Must be a set of siblings. Nice concrete piece. And then those giant copper water urns. You can do whatever you want with them once they're yours. Mahogany buffet. Nice little uh, silver plate tea set. Um, crystal punch bowl. And I'm cold picking up all these things. Look at the rail on this nice, again, nice little table. Look at the base on there. Nice narrow little. Nice must be my color. Must be my word today. Check out these lamps. Just wonderful. They have portraits on front and back. They have a portrait of his and her on one side. And the zoom on over here. And then a landscaping on the other. Sorry, I didn't pull away the cords. We still have got so much work to do. Gotta light up all the lights. Um, just show you all the things that happened. Now you remember that none of this was in here Monday morning. So we worked like crazy trying to get it all done. Check out that oil on canvas up there. Wonderful. Some Florida native lithograph sign framed painted. Beautiful cabinet. Look at this cabinet. Step back and look at this cabinet. We've got a couple of the drawers open, all this inlaid, all this huge deep beveled glass in all of those. Um, wonderful dishware, got some transferware. There's uh, Wedgwood silver. Look at this set. Great dessert set. Nice etched crystal. Just some really nice pieces. This is all Victorian luncheons and bread plates. Just some really nice, nice pieces in this sale. Like I was talking about earlier, so many people are coming around and doing some things with their china and crystal and silver now, where they're taking them to the weddings and they're setting them up. Uh, some nice early toll painted pieces. There's some sign pieces here. This one's early. Looks like a solid board. Well, nice solid seat on that. Um, there's another Victorian piece back there, nice mirror, toll painted to metal lamps, a couple of highwaymen. One of these has a picture of the gentleman that painted, uh, painted it beside the painting right beside it. There's a duck stamp print. Again, just some really cool stuff. Okay, backing up, swinging around. Take a look, trying to go slow so everybody can see everything. Going to come through here. Again, beautiful Carolina chair company. Nice little set of mahogany tables and chairs. Just really cute. Lots of things set up this way. I'm coming around. I'm going to show you those two nightstands again. They look side by side. Nice little mahogany armchair. There's some coal port pieces there. All right, watch out for the bright lights of the lint door.
Mustard color painted Singer show machine. Go figure. Who knows what? Now, this piece, I'm going to back up this wonderful piece. Look at this. This is Welch. They actually brought it back from them from when they were over there visiting. It's a 100-year-old cabinet. Great open front. Would look wonderful in anybody's kitchen. There's so much to offer there. Here's a couple of Sunbeam mix matchers. Friendly Village dining room set. Um, there's a nice ironstone set there. Some Eversham Raw Worcester. Great collections of spoons for those who love cooked spoons. And then if you want friends to sit at the end of your dock, there you go. A couple of benches, some early globes. I mean, see, places like Etsy, it's just amazing. Have you haven't seen that ETS, why go look at that. Etsy has things like these globes, and they're go they're bringing great money on those things. It's just the funniest darn thing. I'm going to sell out this an early, early brass kettle with a swing handle. Um, lots of candlesticks. I'm going to sell those. Big pickle jar, copy, copper Four, piece. Zero, three, three. Coming down the side of the buildings now. Um, milk glass, music boxes, lots of cast iron yeah. skillets. Again, some nice music, some Coca-Cola, some really advertising, a daisy Mark. butter churn. This is a carpenter shop. Great little vents. Got some of the original paint still on it. Um, just some cool pieces. Lots of lots of girly things. Got some nice purses. We're going to sell this suitcase, hard suitcase with some cool things in it. Makes it a lot of fun. And then we're going to run into the railroad section. This is the poppy, the poppy that like that. There's some railroad things in here. Lots of trains. Railroad collectibles will be a lot of fun. Nice linens, big collections of linens, lots of those. And look, somebody's personal collection of handbags. Look at there. Some of them are from the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, all the way around. Come back through. Nice linens, all, all pressed and ready to go for you. Nice piece of crazy clothes. Look at all the work they did in this thing. I think this is a wonderful piece to end the sale on. I'm as bright as I'm getting ready to just spin around. Oh, 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 oh. Covered up with cabinet. Hold on. There's more train stuff. Didn't mean to cover that up. Train stuff and buttons. Buttons. Who's got the buttons? Here, I fib to you. I told you it was all done, but I just threw some more things in there. But just never ends. Always stuff coming in. Come see it. Look at these guys all setting up. It is going to be a wonderful sale. We'll look forward to seeing you. I know I've got more coins to go out yet. There's so much more to happen. So we look forward to seeing you on Sunday. Previews at 10. The auction starts at 1. It's going to be a blast. And we'll see you then. Okay.